Oh, and by the way, thank you for all the newsy letters that you sent me. It makes me feel really good about buying you all that personalized stationery you just had to have. We meant to write that, but we just got so busy. With we? Like Who's we? Oh! Oh, me and my friend. I met this girl at camp, and we got really close. Mm. Practically like sisters. And she was a lovely girl. She's a lovely girl? What have you gotten so proper on me all of a sudden? You're still biting your nails. Dad, you noticed. Noticed? You've been doing it since you were had teeth. But I've decided to stop that. It's a horrid habit. Really, really, it is that. Horrid habit? Lovely girl, horrid habit. What did I do? Send you to summer camp or finishing school? Huh? And why do you keep saying dad at the end of every sentence? I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was doing it, Dad. <laughs> sorry, Dad. <laughs> do you want to know why I keep saying dad? The truth. No. What, because you missed your old man so much? Exactly. It's because in my whole life, I mean for the past eight weeks, I was never able to ever say the word dad. And a dad is an irreplaceable person in a girl's life. I mean, think about it. There's a whole day devoted to celebrating fathers, right? Mm -hmm. Just imagine someone's life without a father. Never buying a Father's Day card, never getting their father a birthday present, never being able to sit on their father's lap, never being able to say, Hi, Dad. What's up, Dad? Bye, Dad. Catch you later, Dad. I mean, a baby's first words are always dad down, aren't they? And there's daddy, daddy-o, pop, my old man, not to mention, wait till your father gets home. No, wait, let me get this straight. You just, you just miss being able to call me dad. Yeah. Is that it? I really have, dad. Oh, that's sweet. Very, very sweet. Come here, <laughs> sweetheart. Uh, look in the camera. <laughs> like, you got to do talk shows like this, right? The Jay Lo Show. So I would, yeah, face the camera. Sit up a little bit. There we go. How old are you anyway? Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Yeah. Are you a tall ten and a half or? In your class, are you the tallest one? No. Nope. Shortest one? No. Are you the most medium? I don't know. No. I don't have everybody stand in a line and say, "Am I the tallest, the medium, or the shortest?" I thought they did that the first day of school. No. They make everybody sort of. Stand up and see who's the tallest. No, I do it at home. Oh. Okay, look at us again over here. 